I'm Rhonda Mincy, a friend of Denise Marshall. I met Denise Marshall at the Assistive Technology Industry Association's conference in 2005. Since that time, we worked together on many projects. One of the most beneficial projects that she has helped me with is learning how to set up a table using Microsoft Word. I'd like to show you how to set up a table as I think this is a very important activity to be able to complete. I am using a laptop computer with JAWS and Microsoft Word. A laptop keyboard is different from a full-size desktop keyboard. You will hear in the background JAWS giving information about navigating particular elements of Microsoft Word. I'm ready to begin to show you how to set up this table. First, I'm going to locate the table menu on the menu bar. To do this, I will press Alt F. Menu bar, file to navigate, press left or right arrow F. Okay, then I'm going to right arrow until I come to table. Edit E, view V, insert I, format O, tools T, table A. Okay. And when you hear those individual letters, that's just JAWS telling you that you can press that letter as a shortcut to um, activate a particular item. I've now found table, and it's a draw table. I don't want to draw a table, so I'm going to down arrow once to insert. Menu, table, menu, draw table to move through items, press up or insert submenu, I. Okay, it says insert submenu. Under that is another menu. I want to insert, so I'm going to press enter. Enter, table, dot, 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 T. Uh, the dot, dot means there's a dialog box and it needs more information. I'm going to press enter again on table. Enter, leaving menus, insert table, dialog, number of columns, colon, edit, spit box, five. To set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value, alt plus C. In order for Microsoft Word to configure the table correctly, you need to fill in pieces of information by answering the dialog boxes. The first dialog box that JAWS read was the number of columns. The default in Microsoft Word is 5, and I'm going to leave that. I'm now going to tab. Tab, number of rows, colon, edit, spin box, 2. To set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value, alt plus R. And now ask for the number of rows, and the Microsoft is default is 2. I want to delete 2 because that is too small. Black. And I'm going to five. make it 5 as well. I'm now going to tab. Tab. Edit spin box. Auto. To set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value. Um, Microsoft then asks, do I want it to automatically fit the contents of the table within the table? I'm going to leave that as it is and tab again to... Tab. Fixed column width colon radio button checked. To change the selection, press up or down arrow. Alt plus W. Fixed... Fit column width means that Microsoft will automatically fit the text of the table within the box in the table. I don't want that. I want to down arrow once. Auto fit the contents radio button checked to change the selection. Press up or down arrow. Alt plus F. I want the content of the table to fit within the table. So I will select that option. Tab. Set as default for new tables. Checkbox not checked. To check press space bar. Alt plus S. I have the option of saving these settings for any new tables that I create in the future. I don't want to do this, so I'm going to leave this box unchecked. I'm going to tab. tab. OK button to activate. Press space bar. I tab to OK. I'm going to press the space. Space, space. document to one. Table one. Uniform table. Edit. Okay, I have now set up the configuration of the table. I now need to give the table 
a title. I'm going to up arrow once. Where? I come to a blank line, and now I'm going to type in the name of the table. S E U E E D Black F T Space Ever. Okay, I now have a blank line between the title of the table and the table. I'm going to down arrow. Black, row two or five. And I'm at row two. So I am now going to begin to label the columns. The first one is going to be D A G backslash back T A A T E space. Then as I want to go forward to the next column, I press the tab key. Tab, column two or five. A, C, T, I, V, I, T, Y, space. Tab again. Tab, column three or five. C, O, M, M, E, N, T, S, space. Tab, column four. A, C, C, U, R, A, C, Y, space. Tab, column five or five. S T A F F space. I've now labeled the columns of the table. I'm going to save my document with Control S. Control G. Enter page number colon and escape. Document one dash Microsoft Word table one. Control D. Font dialog. Font escape. Document. Control S. Save as dialog. File name colon edit combo student two. Does that the value used the arrow keys or? As Microsoft Word gives you a title for the document using the first line of information that it sees, I'm going to erase this title. Blank. And I'm going to type in an R A O N D A. A title Space. I will remember. I'm now going to tap to save. Tap, save with type colon cut. Tap, save button to activate. Press space bar. Alt plus S. I'm going to press the space bar. Space, Microsoft Word dialog. The file rocked already exists. Do you want to replace the existing file? Yes button to activate. Word, rocked table one. Uniform table staff. 3.375 inches from left. 1.38889 inches from top. Page one. 0.38889 inches from top. Page one. Uniform table staff edit. JAWS is now reading all of the dimensions of the table and the document and has now told me where my cursor to get to the first column. Shift tab accuracy, shift tab comma, shift tab activity, shift tab date selected, tab, activity, shift tab date selected, column one of five. Now I'm going to down arrow. Black, row three of five. And go to row three, and this is where I'm going to put in the data. Zero. One. Period. Period. Slash. Two. Nine. Slash. Zero. Nine. I'm going to. Space. Tab to get to the next column. Tab, column two of five. And fill it in. T E S T. Space. Tab. Column three of five. Double E L L space D O N E space tab column four of five one zero zero percent tab R tab column one of five row four of five and now that I have entered the data I'm roll S. I'd like to thank Denise for showing me a most valuable tool in, to use in my everyday work and personal life.